Hey there viewers, it's Charlie, I'm back again with another Transformers review, and today's review will be on... Energon Bulkhead. And well, before I start, I just want to say, oh my god, this is another figure that I'm really glad to have in my collection. Because this guy looks really good. I mean... Well, as we can see, he's a helicopter, and as you know, Bulkhead is normally a... Well, Bulkhead is normally a huge truck or a van, depending on what series you're watching. But, well, this is the first Transformers character to have the name Bulkhead. So, yeah. But, well, having a look at the figure... I mean, we can see that... He's on some kind of launching pad thing. And we'll see what that's for later on. So for now, let's get him off. There we go. Okay. So, we'll have a look at Bulkhead later on. So for now, let's have a look at the little launching pad thing. And well, as we can see, it's... Well, it's got blue, it's got different shades of green. Well, it's definitely unique. <clears throat> and this is when my throat stops working. Having a little 360. Here we can see a huge gap right in the back bit, which you'll see what that's for soon. You have these little claw things, and again, you'll see what those are for soon. We have these two guns with translucent blue, well, barrels, I suppose. And you'll see why they're translucent in a, in about a minute or so. Like, maybe even less, but hey, I, I'm not good with time. Here, we've got this little battery cover thing. And this takes some LR44s. We've got these clips here, which... Once again, I'll show what those are for soon. And the underneath, which has these two buttons... Uh, like, this is where my tongue stops working. These two buttons. And a little copyright stamp. Well, here we have this big dark green square button. And, well, if we press that... It lights these guns up... Uh, it lights the, the guns up with a red colour, and it plays a shooting sound. And you can't really spam it because, well, you press it once, it plays the noise, and you have to wait for it to stop before you can make it do the noise again. And also, underneath these green buttons, if you press them, if my nail can even reach, there we go, it plays the, it plays the G1 transformation sound, and this one, oh, Has the transforming to vehicle mode sound. I mean, in Energon, the transformation sound effect was supposed to be more futuristic sounding. But in the Energon series, Bulkhead was supposed to be an old timer, so it does make sense. And that pretty much does it for this thing, but it does have another mode, which we'll get into soon, because for now, <clears throat> if my throat will actually work for me, <clears throat> oh, sorry, sorry about that, my throat just wanted to fail me today, but let's have a look at Bulkhead, and yeah, this is definitely a cool looking helicopter mode, I mean, my dad actually said that this looks like an Apache helicopter, and I guess I can sort of see the resemblance. 
This is definitely not a cutesy little helicopter that's something like Jolt transforms into from Armada or it's like or even Armada Cyclonus. This is definitely a, an attack hell. Uh, this is definitely an attack helicopter. If my tongue what you see, you see my tongue's not working. But yeah, this is definitely an attack helicopter because you see we have these little missile pods on the side and they do fire. And one of them just fired by itself, because, yeah, these springs can get pretty weak over time, and they can get pretty hair trigger. So, for the rest of the video, I I'm just going to leave these off to the side, just out of fear of shooting myself with them. But having a look at the details, here we've got the cockpit section. Here we've got the Autobot insignia. He had these little gun things at the side. These, I mean, these are just the robot arms. Eh. And we have a spark crystal. Right on the arm. On the back tail fin, you got a, a paddling symbol. If it'll focus for me. There we go. Got a tail rotor here, as, as well as the main rotor, and this one has gone pretty loose over time, just like this bit right here. And there is a pretty cool gimmick, if you take this little thing and you move it pretty quickly, and well... You can get the rotors spinning really, really quickly. And that is amazing. And unlike Armada Cyclonus, it's way quieter. As it only has that little squeaking noise and the actual rotors spinning. Because remember, with Cyclonus, it was like a loud ratchety noise. Oh, sorry, my farm hit it by accident. So yeah, you... You can have it going really quickly. And a little fun fact. These... You, you can put these rotors on Cybertron Evac if you want to. And I guess you could put Cybertron Evac rotors on this guy if you want the rotors to be a bit more realistic looking for this guy. The underneath, which doesn't have any robot junk, though, we do have these little landing gear things, although they don't really work that well because it just has the helicopter mode leaning upwards, and I think that looks silly. So that's definitely a complaint. Now, that's pretty much it for the helicopter mode, but before I get on with the transformation... Let's have a look at Bulkhead's cards, because I do have it. And this gives you a good look at what Bulkhead's robot mode will look like. So yeah, the rotor does become a handheld weapon. And turning it around, we can see that he's pretty powerful. Because his strength is 8, his intelligence is, is actually 10, his speed and endurance are both 9, his rank is 8, his courage is 10, his firepower or fire blast is 9, and his skill is 8. So, Bulkhead is definitely a powerful character. So, yeah, let's get on with Bulkhead's transformation. And, well, it's time to raise the camera. Okay, now. So, now that the camera is raised up, or, well... I've got something to raise up my phone stand. Let's get on with the transformation. Now to start, what I like to do is actually remove the rotors just to get them out of the way. As well as try and get this bit out. You have to move this bit in to remove it because of this bit because... Well, pretend my finger here is is this bit here. 
well, when it's normally in the helicopter mode, this bit is sticking out, and it's pushed in to make this spin for the rotor gimmick, and that, and that's what keeps it in. So when it's pushed in, that allows you to actually move it up to remove it. So we'll move that off to the side for now. And now we've got this little futuristic gunship thing, if you want. But, well, to transform it. Take these little flaps here. Move them up. And try and untap the legs here. Move them down. And spin it around at the waist here. Take the legs and turn them 90 degrees. Take the feet and move them up. Now we have a go walk. Take said go walk and take these bits, move them out of the way. Move that bit up. Take the missile pods, spin them around and move them down. And move that bit down. Push that bit up because that's the head. Take this entire section and fold it down. Fold that in and fold these bits to the side. With, the, with these bits, fold them in because they're now the shoulders. Rotate them around on these ratchets to reveal the, these red bits. Then take these bits. <clears throat> this is when my throat stops working again. It's always when you're recording, your body decides to start disintegrating on you. But try and get the uh, the fists out. And do the same on the other arm. Just try and get the fists spun around. And well, that's pretty much Bulkhead in his robot modes. And yeah, that's definitely a cool looking robot mode. I mean, having a 360, I mean, one complaint is we have all this in the back. The, the entire like back section of the helicopter is just, it's pretty much just a cape. So yeah, I don't really care for that. But if you look at it from the from the front, then it looks really cool. I mean, looking at his head, we can see that it looks like he's got a mustache. If you can see that, if it will focus, it looks like he's got a mustache. And I think that is awesome. I mean, it definitely shows how this guy's supposed to be a senior character. Now, gimmicks. Well, there's not really anything aside from the firing missiles, but I fired Amelia, so no need to show that again. Articulation. Well, the head can turn around. The arms are on ratchets. These bits can move out, so you can T-pose, of course, like every figure. Rather annoyingly, these bits move around too easily. But we got some elbows. Some sideways elbow action. I guess if you want to... Well, sadly, although his waist does rotate for the transformation, he doesn't have waist articulation because this bit gets in the way. But we do have some legs. That, they don't really move back at all, sadly. But he does have knees. If you move these bits out of the way, he... He can do the splits. 
these bits can rotate. His legs can, as well as feet, can move up and down. And he does have a bit of ankle pivot, which is actually pretty surprising. So yeah, this guy definitely is pretty poseable. Now, I could just end the, the video here, although... Do you remember this thing? Well, this has its own little battle station modes. So, well, to get that into its battle station modes, take these bits and move them down. Open up these little core sections. And I guess it's really about trying to orientate these things. Because right now it's a bit too short. So what you can do is you can extend these out. And then you can... And now you can sort of orientate the... I can't even speak. Now you can try and pose it. This is the best I can do, but... It does become a little walking battle station thing. If you can get it to stand. There we go. So yeah, you can turn this into a little Ed 209 and have Bulkhead man it if you want to. So if he's like seeing a bunch of Terracons flying towards them, he can just shoot them. But well, that's not the only thing this, that this little contraption can do. So if we just get Bulkhead ready first, So if I just fold these out and move these up. There we go, he's now ready. So now if I just take this thing, take the guns, move them down. Then, then orientate these things. There we go. These bits have gone sort of loose, but yeah. there we go. And now, if we can just attach this to Bulkhead himself, so you see that the gap goes over the little backpack, and the clips go into here. And well, here we have Bulkhead in his brute mode. However, I, he's just missing one more thing, and that's his rotor weapon. So if we just take this thing, flip this little bit out, take the rotors. You can either leave them how they were or collapse them into a little blade like this. And then just try and attach that back on. Now what you can do is you can put this back into Bulkhead's hands. So now it's a spinning blade weapon. So yeah, here we have Bulkhead in his full on brute modes. And well... Compared to Landmine, this is, well, it's, uh, well, it's easier to do, uh, the actual brute mode itself looks a bit sillier, because we have these little 
grabby arms just sticking off his back. I guess it's handy for if he needs to get something off the shelf. But yeah. well, this is this is official. I am not joking. This is official. And a complaint with this mode is it can be a bit too easy to accidentally knock and fall over. Yeah, like, if you're just trying to pass by a shelf, your arm or your leg could accidentally hit this guy and he could just fall over. Like, your arm just accidentally hits the side of one of the claws and he just falls over pretty easily. So, that is pretty annoying. But, aside from that, I, I really like how this looks. I mean, you still have the buttons on the back, so you can still have him do the, the transformation noise, or if, or if you uh, press it against the back of his head. Oh, uh, well, it's a bit hard to do now. It's not really doing it, but you can do the, you can still do the shooty noise. And well, that's pretty much all I have to say. I mean, complaints about this guy. Well, I can think of a few. One, I just think that the brute mode looks a little bit silly. And it's a bit too easy to knock over if you're not careful. Another complaint... In the helicopter mode, the front landing gear doesn't really do anything, aside from make it lean up a little bit, which looks pretty stupid. Another complaint, the missiles can be a bit too easy to fire at times. Like, if you're just trying to transform them and then the missiles just shoot right into your face or across the room. But those are the only complaints I can think of. So, do I recommend this guy? Well, yeah! <laughs> For the first character to bear the name Bulkhead, he's definitely different from the others who shared the name, because instead of a big, clumsy SUV character, he's an old, wise helicopter. But he's still pretty cool. And he's definitely a really good figure because I've been looking for this guy for ages, and only just found him. Uh, 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 I only just found him a few weeks ago, and I only just received him a week ago, as of the time of this recording. So I'm definitely glad to finally have this figure in my collection because he, he looks really good. So yeah, this has been my review on on Transformers. Uh, I cannot even speak. This has been my review on uh, uh, Bulkhead. Uh, let's just leave it at Bulkhead. This has been my review on Bulkhead. And this is Charlie Young, signing off.